We're going to see how to re-import a corrected translation to update a MemoQ project or a translation memory in MemoQ 2013 Release 2. The two most frequent situations in which I expect this to be used will be first, to update a project with changes that are made to the exported delivery file at the last minute, and second, to incorporate changes that are made by a reviewer or a client and sent back later. This is a completely new function in MemoQ, available for the first time with the release 2 of MemoQ 2013. I expect this feature will evolve significantly in the months ahead, so please note that this demonstration is produced with version 6.8.3. Here I have a translation that was produced quickly and sloppily using voice recognition software. It contains a number of errors and is definitely in need of polishing. Changes were made to the translation after it was exported as a docx file. We can re-import these changes to the MemoQ project to correct the translation memory. To do so, we go to the translations list in Project Home, and down below there's a new command, Import Reviewed Document. Click that and select the revision that you want to use. We'll take this document, choose Open, and MemoQ creates a reverse alignment of the modified document with the original translation. Segments which appear to have changed are marked with green lines, segments which appear to be the same are marked with blue lines, and segments for which there's no equivalent are orphans, such as snakes here above. Note that although the formatting has changed in a few places, like the addition of italic text here or bold text there, these are not indicated as changes because the text content itself is not changed. Where a sentence was moved, a crosslink has been placed to indicate that. I'm going to make a few adjustments to the segmentation. Here I can split this segment and create a review link there. Create another review link here. And when I'm finished, I'll click Apply Review and Close. A dialog gives me a brief report on how many changes were made. One reviewed segment was not used in the update because it didn't have any segments with which it was linked. That was the word that was added at the top. Click OK, and let's have a look at the translation. All of the segments in which changes were made are indicated by a blue arrow. Here it says segment has been changed by another user. Here, for example, where the text was changed to bold, the change is indicated by the blue arrow and the bold formatting was transferred. So let's have a look up above. Okay, and we see that the adjustments that I made up at the top were all adopted. Here I can go ahead and combine this the way that I wanted it. And in order to update my translation memory, I go to the Edit menu select all segments and send it all to the translation memory. And then we'll see for example when we look in the translation memory that the TM has been updated to include all of the changes. If I want to compare two versions of my translation and see what's changed I can do so under History and Reports and here I can compare the current version with the version that I originally exported, my original translation. So I select those two versions. And in MemoQ 2013 Release 2, there's a new function where I can export the edits as a changed tracked Microsoft Word file. So I'll click that and save it. Close the dialog and let's have a look at the file. And here we note that additions that were made to the text 
in the first revision, such as the addition of the word snakes at the top, are not carried over, but all of the changes that were made to the sentences are shown here in the tracked changes. The changes can also be viewed using the track changes functions in MemoQ itself. To do that, go to the track changes icon in the MemoQ toolbar. And here, for example, you can select a comparison against the last delivered version, which would have been the first draft that I exported. Turn that on, and here you can see the changes. You can also look at the history of a given segment by right clicking and selecting Row History. And this will give you a list of all of the different versions of this particular segment. If you want to revert to an earlier version, you can do so, for example, by copying with Command C, closing the window, and then pasting that over the existing translation. Unfortunately, that takes with it some of the date information and other things which need to be edited out. But this is at least a way to recover any text version from a row history.